Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, I've forgotten what episode this is, but we are joining Bill and Jeb here in a pristine little bit of uh, woodland to set up something for our next flight, which I hope will be awesome, and to exploit some of the coolness that is the Kerbal Attachment System. So we're going to go ahead and open our bomb slash cargo bay here. And quickly first we are going to separate the first of two probe cores. So boom. And there it is. I put a parachute on it just to make sure it didn't hit the ground too hard. And to give us some room to work I'm going to release the brakes and roll back on down this hill. Turn those brakes back on, and we'll have Bill hop out and take care of this stuff since he's the resident uh, engineer. At least I hope he is. Uh, I didn't really assign crew. I let it do it automatically. But Jeb is definitely the pilot, so this neat stuff here just gets delegated. And as you can see, I've packed some cargo containers up in here. Uh, now what I figured out by doing some of this stuff on my own is that I cannot put the containers back on the doohickey. So we're going to take stuff out, drop it, and then go, uh, I should probably close that. Yeah, you know what, we'll just, we'll go ahead and make a couple of trips. So first things first, we're going to bring this little probe core guy back to life by attaching a solar panel. This is one of the BoxSat mod solar panels. Uh, attach. Zoom, zoom, zoom. This handy electric torque wrench. All right. Uh, you know what? <laughs> These things do a whole lot better when you turn them on. There we go. That's pretty awesome. All right. And I saw also from this container, open, uh, dipole antenna, we'll take that. And we'll go fix that to the probe core. Nope, jump down there, buddy. Attach that right on the side there. And uh, EVA force open. Bingo. Awesome. All right, now the rest of these parts I'm going to be a little more haphazard with because they don't matter near as much. Those were the two essentials, and I don't think I need anything else. I've got a, well, no, I don't want to grab one of those yet, so never mind. Open container. Take. Close. Drop. Does it go anywhere? I hope it doesn't go anywhere. Let's watch it keep rolling down that hill. Take, close, drop, open, take, close, drop, open, and I do want to take some of these octagonal struts. Oh man, I hope that stuff doesn't explode from me jumping, bumping into it. That would just be horrible. Absolutely horrible. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have just built this underneath the, the aircraft, because then I wouldn't have to do all this running around. Uh, if you move the camera within Kerbal Attachment System, things go all wonky. <laughs> so, uh, to me, this is the biggest plus about Kerbal Attachment System, is that you can you can build fun stuff like this uh, anywhere you go, and set up little relays or survey points, or uh, remember way back in the day when, um, God, which one was it, Interstellar had the uh, seismometer experiment that did uh, impact, um, 
impact experiments. So if you slammed something into the planet, it, you'd get a, a nice little chunk of science for it. And it was awesome. <laughs> and uh, that's, I would travel to planets and build some neat things like this. Oh, can I not get to those? That is going to be a problem. Uh, I need to get to those other two boxes. Well, I guess uh, maybe we can just release them from in control of the ship. Because uh, once we got this one built, the second one we can just get rid of everything on it. Because we won't need any of that stuff anymore. And I should probably see how many more batteries I have left. Just to make sure I'm giving... Oh, I can't. Mm-hmm because I can't get to my other two crates. Oh wait, there we go, open container. Nothing, uh-oh. I seem to have messed up. Uh, ooh, I do have two DTSM-1s, another five batteries, so I can take one more. Drop, open container, and a DTS-1. Not the one I thought it was gonna be, but all right. And as haphazard and slabberdashed this thing is, uh, I just decided that I wasn't going to use all the octagonal struts that I brought with me, because, uh, extend, oh. EVA set target, active vessel, EVA force open. There it is. All right, now I'll have to come back later and make sure that that thing has, uh, enough power coming in and enough battery capacity. I don't think it'll make it an overnight run on the surface with uh, all three of those antennas. Yeah. Attach. That's where it's supposed to go. And now that it's got that dipole going, we don't need this one on anymore. So force close. Sweet. And we have built a white knuckle satellite relay where it's all literally slapped together by a man in a spacesuit. All right. You don't need to be out here anymore. So hop on this ladder and get on back in that spacecraft. Aircraft, it doesn't go to space, it can't. It's only got air breathing engines. And now from in here, nope, retract, retract, close. All right, now we have to make a big effort not to run it over. Probably wanna go up the hill to take off. I hopes. Uh, who needs brakes? You got raw power. All right, I'm probably gonna do most of the flying of this uh, off camera because it's long and boring, and landings are tricky, and I don't want to show off me crashing eight or nine times. <gasps> And there go the dogs. So that's a good place to leave this one. Uh, thanks for joining me for an extra short video. And I will see you guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. I just want to make sure that you guys saw that too. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.